Donald Trump announced this afternoon through his lawyers that he's going to fight the House Ways and Means Committee's decision to formally seek his tax returns from the Treasury Department. That's all well and good, but Trump has absolutely no legal standing on this matter, not as a private citizen and not as the President of the United States. He will, automatically, lose this fight. It's far from the only losing battle he's waging right now. Trump and his newly handpicked Attorney General William Barr are also trying to fight against the Mueller report becoming public. But while the law isn't 100% clear-cut against Trump in this instance, there is overwhelming public support for the report to surface, and even Mueller's own team is beginning to reveal what's really in the report, so Trump will lose this battle, eventually if not necessarily immediately. Michael Cohen has sent a 12-page letter to Congress asserting that Donald Trump did in fact conspire with Russia to alter the outcome of the 2016 election. To that end, Cohen says he's found a hard drive full of records that implicate Trump in this conspiracy and that he's going to turn it all over to Congress. Trump is trying to fight back against this by merely invoking delusion, insisting that whatever Cohen has, it must be old news, even though Trump has no way of knowing this. Last night it was revealed that Capital One has been secretly working with House Democrats since early March with regard to Donald Trump's apparently incriminating financial records. Trump has no idea how to fight that. Nor can he derail the whistleblower who has exposed his security clearance scandal, which just set off an array of subpoenas. If Trump were fighting one losing battle, he might be able to simply kick it down the road. But he's now fighting losing battles on all sides, and no one ever wins that way.